Sputnik. This is a Chucky Beat production. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. This is Straight Talk. Please back stop. Again. Please stop that shit, man. We're back live, everybody. We're back, better than ever. I am <laughs> the Juice Man. Damn. Oh my god. So anyway, oh, man, we were just talking about this. So Go anyway, ahead. you know, we're back. Straight Talk, no chase. We have another special guest in the building this evening. We have another. Uh, what I like to call the leaders of uh, the black girl magic movement, like they just do everything. I'm like, oh, like, okay, so she's a, a, a educator, ten plus years, professional dancer, blogger. You know what I'm saying? She just does it all. We got Khadija Smith Whoa. in the building. Clap it up. We gotta clap it up for the guest. Man. Clap it up for the guest. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You said hold on. You... No, let me stop. All right. She's a professional dancer. dancer. Like as in like ballerina? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. oh, oh, okay. I just yeah. want to clarify. Okay. okay. We was on the same page. Yep. Yep. Let's come back. I just want to clarify. Hey, I wasn't trip. Uh, trip. I we was there though, brother. I wasn't yeah. judging. <laughs> I wasn't judging. I was just not <laughs> at all. Professional. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So that means right. she's in Atlanta and Miami only. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so, brother. <laughs> Let's let the guest talk. Let the guest talk right now. <laughs> well, um, I guess I will first say that introduction. My name is Khadija Smith. I'm also known as Ed Gap Closer on Instagram and Twitter. Follow her right goddamn now. <laughs> I am an Ed Gap Closer. I close gaps, achievement gaps. That's what I'm referring to. Every time I walk into a school building, every time I interact with children, I'm thinking about the disparities in education that exist between white and Asian and our African-American and Latino students. And every day I strive to close that achievement gap. I am also a part of a group called Black Girls Teach. Shout out to Black Girls Teach. Um, oh, sorry. Um, Black Girls Teach was started for black women educators that have um, sacred spaces to discuss what we what happens in education with our children, right? And Facts. What I say sacred spaces is because we get to divulge those things. We get to share best practices. We get to just be ourselves with our children. And huh. that is extremely important. That's powerful. That's powerful. So yeah. that's powerful. black girl teachers. So that's who we are. And we just, we're just trying to make a difference. We're just trying to change the trajectory, tra trajectory of our kids. And that's what's important. Thank you. I know that's, that's that cheap ass wine that he bought. <laughs> I got you. Who did? But you know what, man? Some, I, I want to say this. There's some, say this, some of this uh, Remy in your life. I'm gonna man. say this right now. Be all right. Black women right now got it. They do. Black women they right do. now really, really are tapping into what they're supposed to be, and it's time for our brothers, myself included, to pick up because we are only as strong as our mate. It is European to think that we are ahead of our That's women. Right. We are side by side with our women and have 50, always 50. been. And 50, 50. these sisters that we have been coming across on the show have really shown that black girls actually do rock. So shout out to you. Thank you. But, you know, who are we without the men, right? Of so course. we can we can't, like you said, we're not ahead. So if we're striving, there are black men who are doing their thing. And um, so that's something to be said. So all the black men doing their thing. Um, we appreciate you. Definitely appreciate that. You know, but um, just like what he said, um, it's it's it is extremely. Uh, it's like a gift and a curse because I see how hard the women are working. Right. I see how hard the women are working, but I also see how hard 
some of my counterparts as men are not working. And I, I'm not saying that to be on no kiss ass brown nose type of shit, but it just is what it is. You know what I mean? So I commend you and you know the rest of the young ladies that you work with. Keep these babies' minds uh, uh, abreast of, of what's actually going on out here because uh, what happens a lot of times, especially in DC public schools right now, is being overtaken by a element that I'm not gonna say is maybe not intentionally malicious towards them, but you have a lot of people that's coming into the DC public school system right now that teach for America. Yeah, yeah. Dem- demographics. Yeah, and, and it's still it, M- Michelle Rica still go to hell. I got personal problems with her. But, Same uh, here. Same she here. Too. Damn. She fired my father. So the hell with her. She but, fired uh, my daddy too. It's like the police in early 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. She fired my father for some bullshit. But um, like I said, I commend on what you're doing. So like, what are some of the things that you guys have coming up? Um, well, we were we wanted to have a happy hour at the close of some kind of social to get everybody together. Okay. Um, That's just, gonna be a kiss lounge sometime. Shout out to kiss lounge. <laughs> Um, maybe we'll see, but we wanted to have something. I don't know if that's happening, but if we don't, we're gonna have a day of service um, sometime in July, where everyone, where, where action is the call to action for you to do something in your community. Um, the day will announce, I'm with that. but we really want, we really need mentors. I heard you talking about mentors. Our children need to see successful people, African American, Latino people that have that have it together. Help them. And that's what we need to see in our community. If we don't get back, who is? I agree with that. Who will save us? 100%. And, you know, I think we have a commonality. And even with us, uh, have a commonality with Circle as well, where we deal sometimes with a population of children that are underserved, that they do have more issues than just uh, their books. They're coming with a lot of issues from home. They're coming with a lot of issues from their environment right. and their community. You know, I've, myself, I work in schools as well, but just during the day, like, and I get the mentoring, I get the population of students who have missed the most days of school, um, who are, are having behavioral problems. And most of the time when you sit down and talk to them and you get to the root of their issues, it's not that they're right. misbehavior, they're not intelligent. They are, they're going through emotional issues. They're That's going right. through adjustment issues. Some of them in, are in foster care. Some of them are in, in, in terrible home situations. And like, I know we spoke off camera about, you know, the mental health, like encouraging students to get tested or just encouraging them to talk to somebody because sometimes just them having successful black men and women in their school outside of their normal environment that they can talk to, it opens up a whole new world for them. And I think you advocating for that is very important because, like you said, sometimes they just need to see see better to do better. That's right. Um, and you brought up the mental health, which is extremely important because no longer can a teacher sit in front of the class and just teach. And we are very we're, we're very aware of that. No longer can you ignore a child's you know outcry of seeing someone stabbed, getting jumped, or before they come to school. So when people say show up ready to learn, what does that mean in poverty? Yeah. What does ready to learn yeah. mean? Poverty what do you mean? Biggest. I just use some coping strategies just to listen to you for an hour. Poverty so is what is ready to yeah. learn? You, you, for you know our one children? of the biggest things because you mentioned people, seeing people get shot, seeing people get stabbed. You know what I think the biggest uh, problem that our children see? I think when they walk down the street mm. and they walk into any of these stores or any of these businesses or, or anywhere, right? They don't see nobody that look like them nope. in no type of position of, of stature. You know what I'm saying? You might run across a preacher that's got money from God knows what, no pun intended, or <laughs> or God knows you who. Might, you might see, uh, you know, uh, oh. uh, a nigga that used to play basketball, or you might see, you know, a nigga that got a good job in the federal government, and you like, okay, these are the successful people I know, but. You don't see owners. Infrastructure yes. mm. isn't promoted to our children. So that you understand what I'm saying? We we don't we don't promote infrastructure, and I think that's our biggest issue. We don't want to control our surroundings. That's right. So true, true, trip. To support what you're saying, I work in the school system too, kind of like similar to Cohen. Um, but at the same time, for me, when I look at it, I look at it like this, man. A lot of people that's in the school system that's teaching, 
our kids every single day. And my biggest issue is this. They don't understand the culture. So, I end up, like, like she was saying, like, oh, I just seen somebody get jumped before I got to school. Or I just seen somebody get robbed. I seen somebody get stabbed That's last right. night. But, and I went to home and I went to sleep and I woke up and that shit's still on my mind. So if you don't understand or come from that background or understand and relate, that individual, that particular student, you can't relate to that. That teacher don't relate so, to that. So hold up though. So go so ahead. What's, continue. So, so what's the real problem? Like the problem is no, this. No, 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 no. Oh, I have some more to say. Me. Okay, I'm ask but the question, I, brother. It's, it's, it's part I think of, I think that was rhetorical. <laughs> he was kind of asking himself. <laughs> it's part to the question. So, what is the real problem? I'm going to give you some options. No, no, no. no. I don't need options. You so, give so me look, a question. What, I'm going to answer it. What? What is the? <laughs> he still didn't get it. We gave you the alley oop, and you still didn't get it. He, he asked the question rhetorically. What? He's answering this no, himself. I, I, I get what it. Is the, so, so what is the real problem? Is the problem? Is the problem? Straight hit trope. Is the problem the teachers in the school not knowing what it's like to be jumped or have mm. parents on crack, or is the problem the parents being on crack and other and the kids jumping each other? No, like, no, no, no. See, 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 Trip, you're missing the whole point where I'm coming from. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> am I? No, no. <laughs> you truly are. I am. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by this is this. All right, so I'm going to go. All right, so it's completely like this. If you look at the school system, especially DCPS or Charter, whatever, okay. they coming from Teacher America or whatever the case may be. Half of the teachers that's in the school system in this area, you can go to Virginia, DC, Merlin, it don't matter. They in a system just to get their student loans paid off. Okay, that's so, why they teach them. So look, let me ask you this: years. How are we as a community combating that? That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That's my that, that's my question to you. How do we combat that? You can sit up and cry about all of these teachers who don't look like the students in the school system all day, but that's not going to do anything because they're taking shit. We have they're taking to- the houses, they're taking the schools, they're taking everything. So what are you going to do to combat them taking your shit? That's my question. I think there's not enough people that think like this. There's not enough conscious yeah, okay. people in our community okay. that understand. I, I that I'm buddy, sorry. That no, don't you, that good, don't understand good. that this is serious. And a part of that is it's mental health, right? Yeah, I think exactly. that this is my normal. This is we have internalized this abuse. Yeah, we have. Right? Who That's a fact. who is saying this is not right? It's a serious you disconnect. You walking around and no one in your neighborhood looks like you know that owns things look like you. Your landlord don't look like you. Their landlord don't look like you. You in a nine million dollar house right now. Yeah. Seriously, this DC real estate is million yeah. dollars. It's because right? we don't because we no don't. No one looks like you. And who is saying like when is the woke people, right? Right. Going. We, we got to go back. We gotta be like, this ain't right. So Man. we need to offer free counseling. I'll be outside your door because they're not gonna come to you. Nah, you they're know not gonna we, come we, to you because it's not a problem. We can't continue we to wish upon the star. Right. We don't even like to support each other. How are we gonna get there if we don't feel mentally that it's not important for us to get back to ourselves? And we I'm don't. Like, we. What is we wrong with us and that's that that's we what don't I say. Like and we that, can't support ourselves. And that's I, a fact, and, I and I and that's I and I think we need to spread messages like this that come from these forums. But at the same time, too, we got to start putting pressure on people. One thing I am, if if there was one silver lining, you know, for African Americans in this current political climate, you can no longer ignore what's going on because it's so right. in your face. It's. It's blatantly like, nigga, fuck y'all. We yeah. about to loot this shit. Yeah. What you gonna do about yeah. it? Yeah. So, you know what we yeah. doing? We begging them. Like, yeah. Please don't do nah, it. But so that's, that's, fuck yeah. out of so here. we need to really start putting a pressure on people, putting a pressure on these politicians, putting a pressure on our, on these teachers. I know when I'm in the teacher's building and I feel like they're not doing the wrong thing or, or the right thing by the student, I'm gonna walk up and say something to the teacher and, and get an understanding. I do that all day. And, and get an under and get an understanding why. I, I feel like this is not going on. Sometimes they got a good explanation, but a lot of times they don't. No, they and, really don't. And, and they, they don't. Really so, don't. Okay, what'd you say? They so, don't. so I think that type of attitude needs to go forward. It's like, like I, I'm agreeing with Trevor. There's no more Mr. Nice Guy because this is the future. Our kids right. are our future. If we let them go by the wayside, we go by the wayside because they're going to take care of us. I think our biggest thing is, is, is we 
Who we need to put the pressure on first is our damn self. Yeah. Seriously. We need Ooh. to stop. Ju- ju- no, man. no, seriously. We need to put Juice, the pressure man. on our goddamn we can't self. Blame nobody else. We, we keep know we now. keep pointing the finger, right? We know and this now. is this is my problem, which one thing you say was the conscious community gotta get back to being conscious. I've been saying for the longest that it's become another religion. So right. so when are you when the people that know who they are, the people that do know themselves, it's time for us to put the pressure on ourselves. Right. Because we sitting up here preaching to the choir, preaching to each other. We know who we are. So, so many people out here don't know who they are. And once we know who we are, you don't even have to worry about trying to go get somebody to save you. Mm. You're going to, you are the savior that you're waiting for. I, but, right. but then I disagree with what you said. We're not preaching to the choir. Like, if, if you not get us. these five educators in the room, Talking this talking, this is a my a, a, a minority. Like this is no, not, I'm, I'm not this, I'm, these are not the conversations that are going in the community. So we need to have these conversations as much as possible because they're not being had. No, I'm talking about the quote unquote conscious community. I'm not talking about what we've been doing in the building and the network we've been doing here. I'm talking about the woke. But to me, but to me that's more of like I, I'm not into personally not into self self uh deprecation and, and just going round and round about Oh, we need to see ourselves. We, we need to discuss real solutions. Like I'm, I'm with Trevor. But that's I, where it's like, like me and him, we talked about some solutions. Show up to the school, talk to the teachers. Show up to your politicians. Don't say we don't want any more Teach for America teachers. Oh, maybe they need to implement some type of cultural test before this teacher can be in this school. We need see, to talk about. Man. We that's need to yeah. We need to talk about real soul. solutions and saying, oh, we are our own worst enemy. Or oh, no, I'm we saying, need to get together. No, no that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, you need to know who you are I, I because ride. when you know who you are I you're going to go that route juice man right here because he's absolutely right you got to know Let who me tell you, you are something. i'm going to give you the, the whole prototype for the black man and the black woman right now the black Where woman is expected to do cartwheels every day go to work take care of all the fucking kids oh, she did that make emoji. all the motherfucking money <laughs> and but you know what a black male is expected you know what rub your back and rub your feet you, you know what a black male complain. you know what you know what we've been reduced to <laughs> as black saying. males slanging dick and playing sports yep if you, it, it's like you said that. that's all you can do. Bucks. But at the same time, what you gonna do when you're 50 years old when you that's can't right. slang dick no more? That's right. You got the you bills. Can't play sports. I got slang, but, slang but, but, old dick. But look, your counterparts, <laughs> your counterpart. <laughs> but hold up, no, hold up, though. Your counterparts <laughs> own everything around you while that's you've been right. slanging dick that's for 30 right. years. Right. So know yourself. Come on, man. You you, you gotta, gotta look at yourself. Hey, gotta while look everybody yourself. brainstorming and shit, y'all talking about direct response, direct solutions. Okay, so you got all these people. Power in the room. I ain't got no fucking power. Whatever. You, nigga have, you have a voice. Anyways, <laughs> pass that. How about let's uh formulate some type of plan to put forth to maybe put forth the tray on and start a program in DC public schools funneling young children of color into teaching and shit like that so that you can have those teachers in the community and they come back and they get jobs fresh out of school in DC public schools. How about I that? Like that. Well, I, mean, I like, that. I like that. that. I like well, that. I'm working I'm just saying I don't like bantering, man. Let's just get it done. That's right. Well, I'm working on something right now. It's 50-50, right though. I'm going to be honest with you. It's 50-50. Hold on, 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 You say that, but I went to school in North Carolina and I came, when I first came out of school, I was going to NASCAR for uh, pick crew for NASCAR making seventy thousand dollars jumping over a wall, changing the tires. Seventy thousand. Got laid off. Great. Nice. Started doing social work down there. You go from seventy to thirty-five. Then you come up to DC oh. and you get paid sixty to be a teacher. I take that all day. Thank you. So not everybody thinks like that. That's only people that stayed in this area and never went nowhere else because you don't make this kind of money everywhere else. You don't. But hold on. But hold on. People that never left us. So this let's bring up some niggas from Georgia to be teachers instead of the, the white kid from Iowa that, that y'all complaining about. How about that? Uh, you know nothing get, nothing against. Nothing, no, against no, you, Kusta is a woman. No, no, nothing man. nothing and, and, and nothing against Opie in Iowa, but Kusta, Opie Kusta, needs to know. understand if Opie immerses himself in the community and understands the kids that he the, the community he's serving. I have no problem with Opie from Iowa being there, but if if OBA isn't gonna take the time to understand his environment and, and actually service all of the kids needs, like you said, you're not just a teacher. Yo, you're a counselor. I just you you a, a father figure if you're a male, you're a mother figure if you're a female. If, right. if they can embrace that, I'm all I, I I'm hope Opie is ready for my kids because they don't play no fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. And well, you got a homeschool. Just to stay solution oriented. Um, I'm working on something with a social worker because what we do know is that teachers aren't prepared for this job. 
Not we do all. know they don't come prepared. Not at all. Even not, not, and I'm some, not just saying that. Not as all. A, I'm, you bring I'm some well-educated niggas some, from all. Atlanta Zone no, Six that had a chance to go to college. They can handle these bad but niggas. I, that, and I agree. With it before. So what what I'm saying is is th- that we have even myself, right? And you all in this room, you all have transcended a certain social economic class. So are you really connected as much as you were? When you went to public school, right? You oh, have to stay Emma. connected, That's right? Staying connected. So if we're saying that these teachers need to be prepared for our teachers, need to be prepared for the classroom and what they meet inside the classroom, we need to change the way our teachers are being prepared. Yeah, that's a right? fact. That we that's do. We need so to change the way we're sending our so kids I've to these never classrooms. Taken, I've never taken a mental health class to teach. I learned on the job, right? And everybody had to learn on the job because no teacher preparation training is saying you need to know this counseling strategy. You need to know this. Um, this Conflict kind of resolution. No, nobody's teaching active that. Active listening. Right? But after all they the things get in the you class, need. We're saying, well, you don't know how to control your class. Well, I didn't know that Day Day was on <laughs> Ritalin and he didn't take medication today. Like I didn't. Why well, doesn't got to be Day Day? That's I'm racist. Gonna be, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> She Why is that good? Because Day Day be in there cutting the fuck up. We ain't on Day Day. Well, I'll use a, a student that Jodeci is in the class. Jodeci. Yeah. Yes. Jodeci. Jodeci. Nah, that is like, named like that. What kind of parents right name their kid Jodeci? I'm just you, saying. No, no judgment. That, no judgment. You know his kids <laughs> born in the 2000s, nigga. They name everything. Bro, Jodeci. When my, father, when my father first started teaching, he had these two twins in his class, right? One of them niggas' name was Greg. And the other one was Gregory. <laughs> That's what but he that was them eighties parents. You know, man, they was eighties parents. Two thousand parents, nigga. It's Jodeci, Payday. No, it's hey, his father. That was rock, rock, rock. <laughs> but that's no. But that's not. You look point. like a rock, rock. We need Raheem. to start. <laughs> oh, Raheem, Raheem, was Raheem, was Raheem was a good name. name. That's a good name. name. All right, so we getting That's a little a we getting a little far yeah, off the are. topic. So uh, she was speaking about an actual solution idea she's planning with the social worker, oh, yeah, right. friend of hers, and did y'all need to, uh, you know, uh, connect with her and help support this idea? If it's go funding it, if it's uh, volunteering to support this idea, or just creating another space and forum where they can uh, really like uh, synthesize their ideas, really, really make it practical. So she needs y'all help with that. Make sure y'all reach out to her. Ed, at Ed Gap Closer. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to reach out E-D-G-A-P to her all the way. E-D-G-A-P Closer. <laughs> no, no, no. Strictly finished. Strictly finished. All right. So we're going to... we gonna. We gonna uh, wait, gonna, wait. I got shout outs. Because in lieu of Father's Day, I got to shout out my oh, father. Okay. This Sunday, it's Father's Day. want to shout back. him out. He's amazing. Reach and back. we talked about black men here. And I... The black man that supported me throughout my whole life, I gotta pay respect to him. Thank you. Fact. Shout out to you, Dad. You, you shout out a good one. Shout out to Pops. <laughs> shout out to you, Pops. <laughs> you raised an amazing daughter. She don't look, play either. So I, oh my bad. You no, we just gonna go around with uh, our last final thoughts on this education topic. Let's just start with you, uh, Odimu. What you got to O-D-Mu. say? Odimu. <laughs> Odimu, though, y'all petty. Right, well, check it though. I feel like this. Check though. it. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 bro. Cue the tribe really, music. <laughs> that jungle really? was listening to Hopi Tribe <laughs> coming <laughs> over this Can joint. Hey, we gotta change. We gotta Check change. This nigga's name to Button Up. <laughs> no, uh, he has the flyest <laughs> shirts <laughs> ever. Hey, fuck Every God. show. Hey, your new nigga, you are son of, son of, son of, son of, son of a Button Up. Him and Martin Lawrence get they Button Up from the same. Son of a Button Up. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Real life. Fuck y'all. He got the Martin Season Three Button Up. What the fuck, man? Oh, go hell. Oh, oh, oh stop, man. Odimu with the button. Now. Come on, Y'all come on. Terrible, all right, all right, now nah, let's let's get back on it. All right, okay, I'm sorry. final, go final, go final, go 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 final thoughts. Oh, jokes aside, my final thoughts is this: <laughs> I feel like you know, what I mean, like she was saying, we need to get our teachers understanding the culture and what they're going into. That's what she said. Teaching. Where were you? What you Where were you, bro? <laughs> Where were you, bro? Where were you, bro? Where were you, bro? Like, come on, man. She said that, though? Yeah, I'm she y'all. said it all the way. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you, bro? <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> all right, so all jokes that. We need to get our teachers experience, understanding the culture, to relate to our kids, to teach our kids, so they connect with our kids, and our kids can understand, so they can be taught. Because if, if the teacher can't connect with a child, the child is not going to be taught. At the end of the day, and me, as a personal experience, for me, when I was a younger, I, I wasn't a good reader. I hated, I, I do numbers. Numbers was my thing. 
I, I felt like I could, reading was not the thing. But at the end of the day, I had a particular tutor to say, you know what, what do you like? I said, I like sports. She said, I need you to read. Bring any sports article in here. And she tricked me and taught me how to read. So if the teachers understand their students, mm. you can under understand your students, you can trick them and understand whatever their weakness is to make it a strength. That's actually That's a heavy. heavy. I like that. Man. That was actually heavy, man. Like that. that was the smartest shit heavy? you said the whole time. Oh, oh damn. Heavy was it? Man. That what shit was vicious, home? though. They found what you liked that made helped you read. Yo, that's, that's good shit, oh. Yeah, no cool. Um, <laughs> have direction, man. Just know what the fuck you're doing, man. You know, Don't waste money. Don't run up $100,000 in student loans and not know what you're doing, bro. You know, if you're in there, the first year, you undecided, cool. Second year, undecided, cool. Figure something out. Whatever you're doing, like, Junior you, college if you're is beating available. your dick at 2 o'clock in the For afternoon, 3, or less. maybe you should go into, uh... He said, pornography? Uh, video production or something. <laughs> be a porn director. Do no. something you like to do. No. <laughs> that wasn't it. All right, uh. so, uh, Juice... <laughs> Juice man, earmuffs. <laughs> Get <laughs> Hey, my final thoughts. My final thoughts is totally, totally off topic, but it shows us how we know that she's not to be played with. So, shout out to my our brother right here, Cohen. Man, he does the Henny and Waffles. We, I met this young lady at the Henny and Waffles. We, we were all the Henny and Waffles. Shout out only goes for the waffles. No, listen. Though. But it was, yeah, the I do. Only go for I don't the waffles. The boo. Same with me. Listen, so we're at the table and you know you have to switch out, right? So she's like, I ain't switching out. So me and him, me and Trip looking at her like, it's it's our man's event and he owns at the table. She like, these people ain't gonna tell me to get out. I don't care what they're gonna do, what they're gonna do, how they gonna say, I ain't going nowhere. So I say, you know, it's his event right here. <laughs> that actually wasn't like, my friend. Nah, y'all definitely both participated <laughs> in, in, in no, assassin, you, you, assassinating you, you, me no, in the whole no, event. No, you, you was over this is the New York joint. Nah, was this, this, was, this was this was Howard Theater. Theater. She said, uh, Howard Theater. she said, and I quote, "I don't know who these people think they are, but I ain't. <laughs> I'm not moving. This shit ain't all that for me so, to be moving around. Right. I'm like, it ain't all that. She's laughing. We, but we sitting there talking to her. Like, it was cool. But I say all that to say, I, say I mean, this Henny is in waffle, and it wasn't enough Hennessy. Right. <laughs> but but I say all right to say, and I can hear the passion in your voice while you're talking, man. Keep doing what you're doing because the people need you. And um, she don't take no crap off of no one. Job bless, man. No <laughs> so um, no. once again, I would like you know to, to extend my my uh, congratulations for the work that you're doing, and I appreciate you coming on the show, and I appreciate you you know you know taking the lead in this. In, in this war that we that we're in with educating our children and keeping them from being miseducated and i challenge all the parents who are listening yes. who are our friends that watch this show and who Please. might come upon this show to take the lead in your child's education Please. talk to the teachers go to the pta and not only that educate them outside of school teach them PCA things that trip keto. told you teach them about teaching them uh PCA some real estate key. some uh some real accounting taxes teach them that man take it to some museums Education don't stop at three o'clock. Mm. Facts. Facts. Close the I gap. Concur, so <laughs> I concur, but um Oh she did? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, she, but you know, I mean, first. But you know, I could always keep going. So I'm playing though. I'm done, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. Don't hit the bell on that. Oh, yeah, don't no. hit the bell on that. Hey, hey, Drew, nobody Drew, say. Drew, Drew, Drew. Nobody say. Nobody say. Don't hit the bell. What I'm saying is don't hit the bell. Okay. She is she the god always, closer. She can always keep going. <laughs> oh, man. God, I'm going to leave it alone, man. Thanks. Let me give you my take on it, sir, okay. whoever you may be. First and foremost, you said that you've been dealing with, for, dealing with her for a month or so. First of all, you have no right after a month or so to even be questioning her about her ex.